Round five. Thankfully, now that we have Burton round five is when he gets a little bit of an upgrade because he now shoots two shots, which is like the wave beam from from uh, Metroid, and that it, it's a much wider shot. At least it reminds me of the wave beam. Forget this. This thing even die. I think it might just be a jumping challenge. I think he might. Either he has a ridiculous amount of health, like the the rocks in the last one, or... Yeah, I think it's just a jumping challenge. Nope. As soon as I say it, and that is such a bad placement. If I had Bert, that'd be great. I, I love the little tiny shark. He's like, giant fin! Tiny body! And empty. Ah, crap. I wasn't paying attention because I was looking away! on this dude for a while. Hop, hop, hop. I think, yeah, bonefish. Ah, uh, that's bad placement! Oh, God. There we go. Empty. At this point, this is when my memory of the level uh, layouts were a little hazy, because I don't really get that f this far without dying a million and a half times. Six and a half hours later, beating this damn serpent. And no, that is not a euphemism. Unless you want it to be. Come on, just go down. Take a fall. You've heard of beating a dead horse? Well, here's beating a live serpent. Thank you. Oh, and thanks for the generous donation of health. I greatly appreciate it. Watch my dance! I hate it! Dance better! Come on! Show me what you got! Do it! Shake what your mama gave you! Alright, so this boss fight is one of my favorites because I'd say this is the easiest boss in the game because all you gotta do, just stand there, watch them dance. Let them have some fun. They're celebrating. Yeah, that's it. They got some good moves. This is a little bit different in the Japanese prototype. Uh, in that version, there were three skeletons, or not skeletons, zombies instead of two, and the skybox was a little bit different. That's all there really was to it. Just different changes in the colors and the number of zombies. Also, you couldn't actually hit the zombies in the Japanese prototype as well. Instead, in the final release, they dissolved, as you can see. Right, this one, I'm just going to see if I can jump over, because I can't even hit him if I wanted to. Actually, maybe... Nope. Almost bobbing to the tune of the level. Oh. I, I caught me off guard for a second. I was like, wait, what? Why didn't that count as me getting hit? Catch my javelin, says Optimus Prime. Or should I say, Rocktimus Prime? I'm sorry. I, I apologize greatly for that one. God, these javelins are fast. Just shoot the javelins back at his face. Honestly, this is one I highly recommend you just try to redirect because it's kind of hard to get up there, and especially with the fact that he's throwing these things pretty fast. Just get your timing down on these javelins just fine, and you should be fine. I'll go over the Japanese prototype differences as soon as we get him beaten. Right now, I'm just really focused on this, because I don't want to die. Well, never mind then. Oh, 
Okay, so... I was actually wrong when it came to this boss fight in the last time. I kind of forgot that these background rocks you see right here aren't just a part of the background. You can actually stand on them, and if you stand on this one and, you know, get a good timing with the hits for, for his javelins, you can just shoot them right back into his face. So, uh, Raptimus Prime here, uh, he obviously looks like a reference to Transformers, well, duh. Not the case! In the Japanese version, he was a completely different reference to a famous, like, Japanese kaiju monster thing, Lovab. I don't know. He, he was huge in Japan, and they had to change his face to the, the gyroid-looking face, because instead he looked like a very angry Japanese person. Because they didn't want uh, him to be too similar to the famous kaiju that they talk about. I don't remember his name. I'm sure Future Me is probably going to throw up on the screen right now. Jump! There we go. And as you can see, there was only two boss fights in this uh, river section. And I did a little bit of grinding on health for a good while just so I could go back into that fight well prepared. Although, forgetting that I had to do the, the, the challenge, am I even taking any damage? That's weird. Uh, let me just see. Okay, yep, I am now taking damage. Oh, uh, get up there! Arc! I was like, did I somehow glitch the game to give me infinite health? But nope, I just went way overboard with it. Here, I'm just gonna just avoid you. Oh, there we go. Ow. Uh, we're starting to get to the part where the health draining is really starting to show. Thankfully, there's only two boss fights in this area, so we don't have to worry about uh, the the rest of them. Ooh. Uh, Mark! There we go. The worst thing we have to worry about during this level now is just, you know, getting stuck underneath the platforms if we fail our jumps like that. Ow. This is such a bad placement. You have to do, like, pixel-perfect uh, timing and jumping when it comes to that guy. Also, with a stupid fish. Can I also exp uh wonder something, why the hell did Bonefish all of a sudden become such a huge thing for Halloween this time, this, like, couple of, past couple of years, because I've been seeing a lot of them going out lately. Hatted Civil 77A. Round 6. Welcome to what I would say and what everyone would probably say is the worst level in the entire game, The Haunted House. As you can tell by the sound, what they were kind of going for was it's sort of like there's a storm going on on the outside, so that's like the wind howling, which is why the background's having an epileptic seizure with us. That's supposed to be lightning. I'm not really the biggest fan of this level, and same thing goes for a lot of people, because the thing about this level, it's one big maze. And trust me, getting lost in here and having to deal with this sound constantly being played yeah, it can get really grating. Oh, man. We got a bunch of... I, I don't even know what the hell this is supposed to be. Uh, the house shooting fire at, at us. I was going to say wisps, but they're not really that sentient to be wisps. So I'm thinking the house is just literally shooting fire. We also got th these walking pair of pants. I guess they're supposed to be haunted by a ghost. But all they can make me think of is like that Jimmy Neutron episode where he made pants come alive. I think these are three-hit enemies. I want to say so. They're moving back and forth like a regular... Nope, they're actually, I'm guessing, four to five hits. Yep, five hits. It gives us some health, at least. Thankfully, I know exactly where to go because I actually consulted an, uh, a map of notes that I made for this. I'm just going to need to go up here. Thankfully, there's also only one boss in this uh, entire level. Just... Getting to him is a pain, and then trying to find out where we need to go for the exit, because it's nowhere near where the bot... Well, it, it's kind of near him, but at the same time, it's not, because it's two completely different areas and paths you need to take to get there. Let me see. Uh, look at the notes. We need to go through... Uh, let's see, where was it? Yeah, we need to go through this. This we need to go through the no oh right yo yes we need to go through this then go through this door and lo and behold after this very jerkishly placed set of fireballs we're at the boss which one 
It's faces! Find out which one it is. Could it be the one that looks different from the others? Well, I'm guessing so. Not him? There he is. I see a creeping back there. I believe in the Japanese version of this, this boss fight... I think he was just only one face in the Japanese version. Let me, let me look. Yeah, it was only one face in the, the Japanese version. And, or the Japanese prototype, I should say, instead of just the Japanese version. Because there is a Japanese version, but that's the final version. But the, it's the prototype! Uh, there was only one face we had to find moving through this mesh in the, of a background. Alright, come on. Come down here. Oh. Oh, he tricked me! Okay, now I just swear he's just switching up uh, faces. Alright, come on. There we go. Yeah, it was only one face that we had to fight instead of four. So... I guess this was more of an upping of the challenge instead of, you know, just changing something because of copyright issues. But, there's our key. Boss done. Let's get out of here, hopefully. As you can see, the final guard of this entire maze is a chair. A very pissed off chair and very determined to get me, it seems. Alright. Let's see, if I remember the path we need to take, let's see, we, uh, and by remember the path, I mean I'm consulting my map. Which way was it supposed to be? Need to go through this door. Okay, yeah. Dodge the pants in the fire, and the haunted table. I thought there was also, like, a haunted shirt that flies around all over the place, or was I thinking of something completely different? Ow. Oh, no. The chair. I went through the wrong door, didn't I? Nope. I should have... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Need to go this way. Avoid the haunted chair. Got that health. Man, all that health we had at the start of this re retry, and already I've lost almost all of it. Go through this center door right here. And... Go this way to the far side. And lo and behold, we are out of the maze! Okay, you know what? No, I ain't leaving without taking you out. I'll take that health, thank you very much. Whew, I hate that level. If you don't know what you're doing, you'll be stuck in there for a while, and it's best to just mute the game at that point, unless you want to hear... Woo -hoo -hoo 